Hey guys, so today's quick tip video, I wanna show you how to create a custom friends list on Facebook. Now this is very useful if you want to divide your friends into certain segments and communicate different types of posts to different types of people. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. We'll jump into Facebook, we'll create some friends lists, and then I'll show you how to segment your existing friends into these various lists. So just before we start, my name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. If you haven't been over to our channel before, you're interested in hearing more tips like this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe and notification bell, and I'll let you know whenever I release new videos. And if you're interested in starting an online business, go ahead and check out the link in the description below, and I'll take you through the whole process step by step. So just before we jump over to Facebook, I wanted to just go through some reasons to create lists. So when you go on Facebook, whatever you post obviously can be seen by all of your friends, unless you start segmenting the list. So there are several reasons you might want to go ahead and, and segment your list. You might not have a pay Facebook page, you might not have a Facebook group. This is just a very easy way to very quickly post and only have certain people see those posts. So you could be a member of a club, there could be some kind of supporters group that you're a member of. You could have business associates, and this is a big one, and this is the, the reason I use this particular function on Facebook. Because when I discuss business on Facebook, I kind of only want certain people that have connected me through my business to see certain posts. And friends and family, I don't really need them to see them. So I use it for business mainly. You could have some hobbies you want to discuss with folks. There could be very specific family that you want to post certain things to. Or you could be just discussing some kind of event. And it's a good way of dividing up people quickly who are going to that event and only communicating to them. So if I just jump over to Facebook and I'll show you how easy this is. So I'm over on Facebook. First thing is make sure you're in your home screen on your actual timeline. Because on the left hand side is the menu where you'll actually find your friends list. So if you just jump over to the left hand side, scroll down and you'll eventually come across this friends list. If we just hit that, here is where all of your lists of friends that you have will be kept. Now, as you can see, I've already divided a few of my kind of friends up into different columns. These are, these are for different purposes. But if I just click into this Internet Marketers one, you'll see that this is all of the various posts from the, the folks that I've actually tagged as Internet Marketers. Right Now, that's a very easy way then for me to come along and just see the kind of posts that are being put by those certain folks. Now, that's actually how you would go into the various lists themselves. And if you want to create a new one, all you need to do is come up here and hit create list and then name your list. So this could be anything. You just call out business friends and then you can leave the members blank for now. If you just go ahead and create that, you'll see that it asks you to actually start adding friends. So all you need to do then is add friends to the list and all of your existing friends, you just come along and tick various people that you want to add to that list and you can put finish and that'll be done so when i go back to match your custom list now you see business friends there and then on the right hand side here you'll see those are the friends that are in this list so now if i wanted to post to these folks all i needed to need to do is actually do my post here and then you'll see right here it'll only go to the business friends on the news feed for this particular post so that's one way to post to them the second way to do this is just to come over to your main feed and if you want you just to post from your main feed like you might be on your phone or you might be on uh, some other device and you want to post from there all you need to do is make sure that before you post where you have your sharing options you only actually tick on the list that you want to be shared to so i could share this to several lists i could come down and add my business friends to this particular list so there'll be various things that i can actually share on here to various people so you know it's a very very useful way to kind of make sure that when i post only the folks that i want to see will actually see those posts now what you can also do is if you come over to your friends list itself you can tag your friends and get them to join different types of groups so i just come down here and i click on the right hand side here it says friends where it says edit friends list you can come over here and you can add them to various groups and then they become part of that group they can actually be part of several groups that you go ahead and tag them to so again very useful now if you friend someone for the first time you usually just have to accept the friend request and then once you've accepted the friend request you then go back in and change the group that they're going to be a member of so that's a little bit of a two-step process but it is the best way to kind of do it to make sure that you accept them first and then go back in and then actually put them onto the various lists and then lastly, if you want to come along and delete these lists, you come back to the actual lists themselves 
and you can come across and you can actually just delete that list and that list will be removed. So it's an easy way, once you finish with a list, maybe it was an event or something you wanna finish with it, you can kind of delete it to make sure your profile is clean. So again, this is a really, really good way, especially if you're into business and you maybe wanna use Facebook for business and you have lots of people you friend as part of your business online, you can go ahead and just put them into one section and then that's the section that you can communicate to and not really have to create a separate page or be a member of a group or anything like that. So I hope you found that tip useful. My name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. If you want to hear more tips just like this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe and notification bell and I'll let you know as soon as I release new videos. And again, guys, if you're interested in starting a business online, go ahead and click the link in the description below and I'll take you through the process step by step. Until next time, take care.